Features of a quadratic graph. Here we have the equation y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. After plotting the points for this equation and drawing the graph, this is what it comes out looking like. Does this graph have a minimum or a maximum point? When a graph is like this, it has a minimum point. This is the lowest point on the graph. When it's shaped like this, it has a what? A maximum point, and this will be the maximum point here. So this graph goes up forever in these directions, but this will be the lowest point on the graph. And I'm sure you can think of why. All right, so this is our minimum point. Now here's the next question. The value of x that makes it a minimum. Now we're seeing x equal negative 1.5 as the answer. Why is that? Well, at the minimum point, if we go up, straight up, all right, halfway between these two vertical lines, it's halfway between negative 2 and negative 1, be right here. And since it's on the x-axis, the x-coordinate of the minimum point will be negative 1 and a half. I'm negative 1 and a half can be as negative 1.5. Negative 1.5 is directly between negative 2 and negative 1. If you want to find midway between these two values, you could add them. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. And divide by 2. That will give us negative one and a half or negative 1.5. So this is correct. Now here's the next question. What's the minimum value of the graph? So this graph has a minimum what? A minimum point. Its x coordinate is negative 1.5. And so what is this minimum value? The minimum value will be the y coordinate of this minimum point. So we go across on the y axis to find the lowest value of the graph on the y-axis. And so we'll go straight across to find that. It's a little bit more than negative 6. So how would we find that? Well, this point here has two coordinates. It has a x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. The x-coordinate is negative 1.5. So if we take that x-coordinate and we plug it into this equation by replacing x with negative 1.5. Wherever we see x, we put negative 1.5 minus 4 here. So how do we replace in the x with negative 1.5? It will give us the corresponding y value. So the x and y in the equation represent the ordered pair, or the coordinates, the x coordinate and the y coordinate of every point. So once I know the x coordinate of this point, negative 1.5, plug it, put it in the equation, it will give us or it will produce the corresponding y value. And so that's what we did here. We take the y, the negative, x equal negative 1.5, plug it in the equation. And when we put this in our calculator, this portion here, try to put it in the calculator, square in negative 1.5. Add in 3 times negative 1.5 minus 4 based on this equation here. And what do you notice? Your corresponding y value will be negative 6.25. And we can see that it's accurate because if you look at it, the x, the y coordinate of this point, the y coordinate of this point is just a little bit more than negative 6. Or just a little less than because the more we go down is the smaller numbers get. So it would be negative 6.25. All right, so this is very accurate. But it's difficult to get that accuracy on the graph if it's not right on an integer. Okay, so now what are the roots of the equation? This graph cuts through this x value here and this x value here. What's the x value here? Negative 4 and 1. So the roots of the equation are x equal negative 4 and x equal 1. What are the x-intercepts? Same thing. x equal negative 4 and x equal 1. Because the x-intercept is another name for the root of the equation. Alright? So the x-intercepts 
is just another name for the roots of the equation. A squared graph intercepts the x-axis. And it intercepts the x-axis at two places, at x equal negative 4 and x equal 1. Now, what are the coordinates of the x-intercepts? What are the coordinates? Now, when we say coordinates, we're talking about what? We want an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. But now we're referring to the x-intercepts. We're referring to the x-intercepts. So right here is the x-intercepts, remember? Here and here. So what are the coordinates of this point? Because the point, even though we spoke about the x-coordinate being negative 4, but it's still a point. Another point has a what? x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So the x-coordinate we know is negative 4, but what is the y-coordinate? this point here to find the y value you go across the y-axis and it hits the y-axis at what at 2 1 no but at 0 so the value of the y-coordinate for the x-intercept point here is 0 what about this x-intercept here we know the x-coordinate of the x-intercept here is 1 x value is always first right what about the y-coordinate well, for this point, if you want to find the y-coordinate, you go across to the y-axis. And where does it hit the y-axis? Does it hit it at negative 1 or 2 or 1? No. It hits it at y equals 0. So what we're seeing here is that for the x-intercepts, the y-coordinates are always 0. But the x-values will be negative 4 and 1. In this case, so negative 4, when x is negative 4, y will be 0. When x is 1, in this case, y will be 0. So for the x-intercepts, the y-coordinates are always 0. What about the y-intercept? Where does this graph intercept the y-axis? In this case, this graph intercepts the y-axis at negative 4. So y-intercept is negative 4 y equal negative 4 but the y-intercept is a point so while we know the y-coordinate be negative 4 what is the x-coordinate because it's it's an intercept one of the coordinates must be 0 which one not the y-intercept for sure the y-intercept is negative 4 but the y the x-coordinate of the y-intercept point would be 0 so once we say intercept, one of the coordinates must be 0. Since we say y-intercept, therefore it's the x-coordinate that will be 0. Alright, now here's a nice question. Values are value of x when y equals negative 6. So what we need to do is go across to our... Uh, let's go down to the y-axis where y is actually equal to negative 6. And this is a line, this is a line y equal negative 6. It will pass through the y axis at negative 6. This is a line y equal negative 6, the line that passes through the y axis at negative 6. So we can define it as y equals negative 6. That's the equation of the line that cuts through the y axis at negative 6. But it cuts through the y axis at negative 6, but it actually touched the graph at two points here and here. And so what we need is the x-coordinates of these two points. So the x-coordinate of this point, for instance, is negative 2. So the x-coordinate will be, for the first point where the graph cuts the y-axis at negative 6, will be negative 2. And let's check this point here. Got this point here, this graph, the same line, y equals negative 6. It cuts this graph here, or intercept this graph here at this point as well. So we go up to, to check to see what is the x coordinate. And the x coordinate is negative 1. So those are the two values of x on the graph when y is equal to what? Negative 6. And let's check this one equation of the axis of symmetry. What is the equation of the axis of symmetry? Now, the axis of symmetry is a line that cuts something in two equal halves. 
So where would you where would you draw a line that will cut this parabola in two equal halves? Would you cut it horizontally? Most likely not. Would you cut it vertically? I'm sure you would. But where would you actually put it? Where would you actually cut it, I should say? You'll actually cut it in the center. So, in fact, if you look at two points that mirror each other, and then you try to find the center, it will be right here. Put this right here and here, the center will be right here. If you look, for instance, at this point here and this point here, the center will be right here. Look at this point here and this point here, the center will be right here. So if you notice, this is the line. It should be a straight line, by the way. Um, it's not that accurate. But this is a, this is actually where you actually cut it, so that you have two equal halves. So this line here is what we refer to as the what the axis of symmetry. And it has an equation. The equation will be x equal. Where does it cut the x-axis? In between negative two. And negative 1 which will be negative 1.5 or we could say x equal negative 3 over 2 negative one and a half so that's the equation of the axis symmetry x equal negative 1.5 that's it